God is saying to you today, you are going to make the most amount of money you've ever made this month. You will attract incredible new friends, and some of your deepest dreams are becoming a reality. You've been thinking about your goals non-stop, and the universe is giving you everything you need in order to manifest them. Trust that every person entering your life is a part of the divine plan for you. Smile and give thanks. This is about to be the best month of your life. Each day you take a step closer to your goals. You are becoming an entirely new person thanks to your commitment to visualize yourself better every day. The positive attitude you are developing is elevating your vibration and attracting high-frequency energy. You are meeting people that understand your value because you value yourself first. This year you are going to meet new people that will become best friends, family, and support your journey with unconditional love. Whatever seeds you plant in January will blossom this year. Now is the time to set intentions, think positively, and assess what thoughts, friends, and family members are supporting you or holding you back. You have full permission to become your higher self. Every single moment is precious. However, when we're so focused upon chasing that goal or reaching that future that we desire, we tend to forget that. Every single moment shared with someone you love is a blessing and a gift. Life can and often does change in an instant, and it's important that we don't take anything for granted. Don't be afraid to say, I love you to those people who deserve to hear it. Say it today, and say it loudly. Don't be afraid of looking stupid, soppy, or silly. You'll never regret a heartfelt, I love you, or a heartfelt message of love or appreciation. You'll only ever regret not saying it. The universe is saying to you today, do everything you can to set things in motion. Set your goals. Focus your attention and intention. Establish solid foundations and achieve your goals and aspirations, step by step. Focus on what you can control. Why? Because when you do, you ground yourself in the present. You pull yourself back into a more mindful space. You empower yourself to think constructively. You force yourself to stop ruminating. You take your power back. Find a way to love your life so much that you feel lucky to be you. Like it's a privilege just to wake up as yourself. Like you are utterly charmed by your own life. What a beautiful home you've built. What incredible friends you get to text all day. How you spend your time and your life genius. What fun! Your life is poetry. Your life is art. What a strong mind you have. What a way you care for yourself and listen to your needs. What great kids or dogs or cats or plants you've raised. Wow, you've got this whole life thing figured out. Or if not, look at you, trying to figure it out and fight for your joy. How lucky you are that you get to be you. Stop replaying your past. Stop wasting your precious energy on something that cannot be changed or undone. Use this energy to manifest something new, something that your heart is aching for, and start doing it. Step by step, one at a time. Consistency is what will bring you forward, because when your dreams are so big, there are no shortcuts. But don't be scared because your journey is beautiful, and should be enjoyed, not rushed. When you are ready, it will happen. Remember, if it is meant to be, it will be. The universe has a funny way of blessing you, whether it be with people, or things, or moments, or places, it knows, and it gives you everything you need, but only when you are ready. Now exhale. You'd be surprised by how many people don't have a big grand plan. So many people simply go with the flow and work everything out along the way. 
Don't let your lack of clear direction stop you from going anywhere. Put one foot in front of the other and pave your own way. You never know what greatness can come from taking it just one day at a time. Someday, you'll realize that everything you've gone through was a blessing in disguise. Things didn't work out the way you expected them to because you were being prepared for something better and all the restless nights wondering why everything happened to you will finally make sense. At the end of the day, what really matters is that you are doing what makes you happy. It's about following your heart whenever it leads you and being yourself wherever you go. It's about loving and celebrating who you are so much that it just doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. And it's about celebrating others and who they are too. It's about encouraging others to be who they are because there is no competition or race. Your life is about creating your own happiness. Your life is about letting yourself shine. If the vibes aren't organic, walk away. If the energy feels off, leave it alone. If your spirit doesn't want it, don't resist the rejection. By forcing your way through each chapter, you're only creating more delays, more obstacles, and more roadblocks to appear in your path. By flowing your way through your journey, you're aligning yourself with the right people, the right opportunities, and the right doors to walk through. Accept what is. Don't keep trying to make changes in areas of your life you have no control over. Let go of what was. There's no need to keep entertaining your past. It's behind you for a reason. Follow the things that bring peace to your soul. Don't bother wasting your precious energy on anything else. Your journey depends on it. There is so much magic heading your way. You cleared internal obstacles that were holding you back from reaching a new level of your infinite potential. You claimed a higher frequency. Move with full confidence in this new vibration. You are healing all who come in contact with you when you move in this elevated state of being. Life is opening up many new possibilities to you. Stay focused on your mission and it will all work out. Stop replaying the past in your mind. It's gone. Use your mental energy to manifest something new. Don't waste your precious life being stuck on what didn't work out or what you could have done. Do something new today. Each moment is another chance to recreate yourself. June will be the month of manifestation. There will be great success in your career, health, and relationships. Abundance will effortlessly flow into your life. All that you have been praying for is making its way to you now. Make sure to keep your heart open and embrace this new energy. You are going to be amazed by how much your life is going to change for the better this month. You have been patiently waiting for a breakthrough and it's here. Your outpouring of gratitude is manifesting so many new blessings into your life. The more you focus on the good, the more good you attract into your life. You have been filling your mind with positive self-talk, books, podcasts, and music that uplift your soul. Your dedication is transforming your inner world and breaking through limits. Decide what you want for your future and expect it will manifest. Decide what makes you happy and do what needs to be done to maintain it. Decide to build your prosperity through consistently creating more. Decide to master your mindset by cultivating optimistic thoughts. Decide that you deserve it all. You are going to make the most amount of money you've ever made this month. You will attract incredible new friends and some of your deepest dreams are becoming a reality. You've been thinking about your goals nonstop, and the universe is giving you everything you need in order to manifest them. Trust that every person entering your life is a part of the divine plan for you. Smile and give thanks. 
you are about to close a powerful chapter of growth and enter the highest vibrational state of living that you have ever experienced. All of the risks that you are taking right now are paying off. You have been calculating your moves and making sure that all people involved are benefiting. Things tend to work out in your favor ever since you committed to making the world a better place. It's time for you to feel good about where you are and who you are. It's time for you to acknowledge the blessings constantly showing up for you. It's time for you to believe you are capable and equipped to overcome anything that comes your way. It's time for you to trust that everything is always working out for you. It's time for you to embrace that you are a powerful creator of solutions. It's okay if you just started realizing how incredible you are. It took so many lessons and divine timing to get you here. Embrace that miraculous feeling of newfound self-awareness. You never wasted any time. You were always on the right path. The path of spiritual nourishing and flourishing. All of the events that led you to this point is exactly what your journey needed. Your old skin has finally shed and a new one has grown in its place. Take it easy on your mind, body, and spirit. You're rediscovering what it means to love yourself completely. The adventure is only beginning. Magic like you've never seen before is headed your way. You have to trust who you are becoming. You are not the same person you were a year ago. Allow yourself to continue to grow and evolve. Your strengths will become even stronger, your soul even more beautiful. You are magic. What you're beginning to experience is harmony between our conscious and subconscious mind. The synchronicities, repeating numbers, things coinciding are not coincidences. They're confirmations of the power you possess to materialize your dream into reality. They're proof of your connection to your higher self. Today's energy is reminding you to stay the course because it will go from feeling as though it's taking forever to feeling as though it's all happening overnight. You're on the path of utmost fulfillment. Your story is about to change so epically it's going to make your heart and head spin. All the time and effort you put into mastering yourself is about to satisfyingly pay off. The way your journey has been set up is a pure work of art. This next breakthrough is going to confirm that. Every ounce of magic in you is about to triple in size. Take a second to enjoy the present moment. It won't be this way for much longer. You're approaching the final steps of the tunnel but you're slowly realizing that the light you were chasing at the end of it always stemmed from within you. Be at peace. Your next chapter is going to leave a permanent smile on your face and a lifetime of joy in your soul. Your spirit guides want you to know that they are watching over you during this difficult period of your life. They are there to help. They're only a breath away. They're an extra source of strength to call upon during this difficult time. Open up and let their love lead you forward. Allow their strength to lift you up. They also have one particular message that they would like to deliver to you today, and that is simply, this will pass. They're reminding you that things will get better for you very soon. However, until then, continue to move through that which you're facing with faith, patience, and a higher perspective. A very impactful blessing is about to arrive in your life. All of the difficult times you have faced are paying off. When things got tough, you upgraded your spirit. No challenge is too big for you. In fact, you are seeking discomfort because of the growth it provides. Your life is improving mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially by the day. You are healing from the inside out. Admit it. You have an amazing soul. 
Stop regretting being a caring person. Whoever got to experience you needed your light at that time. You stay kind and committed to your love. Don't you dare doubt your worth or the beauty of your truth. Just keep on shining like you do. You are right where you are supposed to be. This is not a time to worry or to be anxious. This is a time to breathe deeply into your body and trust that things will play out for you. Get back to loving yourself and treating yourself well. You have been patiently waiting for a breakthrough and it's here. Your outpouring of gratitude is manifesting so many new blessings into your life. The more you focus on the good, the more good you attract into your life. You have been filling your mind with positive self-talk, books, podcasts, and music that uplift your soul. Your dedication is transforming your inner world and breaking through limits. Trust that everything entering and exiting your life right now are happening to help you reach your highest potential. No matter how difficult times may get, you will always find a way. Your burning desire to reach your highest potential is transforming all the lives you come into contact with. You are a beacon of light in this world. Your positive vibes are creating so much good karma. The journey is your home. Get comfortable in being grateful for everything because everything is constantly changing and there is never going to be the exact same moment you live in right now. Unpack your past and your future and come back home to now. Everything we are looking for outside is already within, but most of the time we live in such a hurry and we forget that everything we are trying to rush cannot reach us because we are not in alignment with our true selves. Alone doesn't mean lonely, so give yourself self-love you deserve. Get in alignment, be patient, breathe, and let things flow and unfold freely. At this point, you're doing better than you ever have before. You're not exactly where you want to be, but you're advancing in ways unseen. You fight for inner peace, whereas in the past, you just accepted the chaos. You're reacting less from your emotions and responding more from a space of stability. You're more in tune with all the things that are going your way instead of the few that are not. You're forgiving, loving, and observing more. These upgrades are changing your life. This year I did not live 365 days. This year I fought 365 battles. Some that I lost, some that I won. Some days were very good. Some days were terribly bad. I learned that in order to rise I had to fall. To grow, I had to heal. To feel happy, life had to be painful. I learned that nature would not take anything less. This was a year of spiritual awakening. I realized not all things matter in life, but the things that do I must hold on. This year I warred with myself. Above all, this year I survived. Everything is going to work out perfectly. There is no need to stress and worry about the things you cannot control. When you understand everything in your life happens for you and not to you, this is the moment everything changes. It's easy to look back and question decisions you have made in the past, but it's unfair to punish yourself for them. You can't blame yourself for not knowing back then what you know now. And the truth is, you made each decision for a reason, based on how you were feeling at the time. As we grow up, we learn and we evolve. Maybe the person you are now would have done things differently back then. Or maybe you are the person you are now because of the decisions you made back then. Trust your journey. It's all going to make sense soon. Decide what you want for your future and expect it will manifest. Decide what makes you happy and do what needs to be done to maintain it. Decide to build your prosperity through consistently creating more. 
Decide to master your mindset by cultivating optimistic thoughts. Decide that you deserve it all. The beautiful irony is that although you can't see it right now, you're going to be quite pleasantly surprised by how things actually work out for you. It's not going to be the worst case scenario like your mind will tell you. It's going to be better and more amazing than you can imagine. Be patient and trust. If I am for you, who can be against you? It is essential for you to grasp that I truly am for you. This is a promise for all of my followers. When things are not going your way and people you trusted turn against you, it's easy to feel as if I've abandoned you. At such times, it's vital to tell yourself the truth. I am not only with you always, I am also for you all the time. This is true on days when you perform well and on days when you don't, when people treat you well and when they don't. If you really understand and fully believe that I am for you, then fear will diminish and you can face adversity more calmly. Knowing that I will never turn against you gives you confidence to persevere in tough times. I approve of you, beloved, because you are mine. It is my opinion of you that prevails and will continue to prevail throughout eternity. No person and no thing will be able to separate you from my loving presence. Trust me and don't be afraid. Do not be frightened by world events or news reports. These reports are biased, presented as if I do not exist. News clips show tiny bits of world events from which the most important factor has been carefully removed. My presence in the world. As journalists sift through massive amounts of information, they strain out everything about me and what I'm accomplishing on the earth. Whenever your world is feeling like a scary place, turn to me and encourage yourself in my presence. Follow the example of David, who strengthened himself in the Lord when his men were threatening to stone him. You also can find courage through remembering who I am. Ponder my awesome glory and power. Delight in my unfailing love. Rejoice that you are on an advent journey with me and your ultimate destination is heaven. As you keep focusing on me and enjoying the rich relationship I offer you, fear will subside and joy will rise up within you. Trust in me wholeheartedly, beloved, for I am your strength and your song. Your citizenship is in heaven. Someday I will transform your lowly body so that it will be like my glorious body. You will have an eternity to enjoy your perfect glorified body. So don't be overly concerned about your physical condition now. Many of my followers cling desperately to their earthly lives when they are at the very portals of paradise. Yet once they let go and pass through that thin veil into heaven, they experience ecstatic joy surpassing anything they've ever imagined. Your times are in my hands. I have planned out all your days, and I know exactly how many you have left. Since your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, I expect you to take care of it, but I don't want you to be too focused on its condition. This can make you anxious and distract you from my presence. Instead, receive each day as a precious gift from me. Look for both the pleasures and the responsibilities I've placed before you on your path. Hold my hand in joyful trust. I am always by your side. My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Wherever you are, wherever you go, I am with you. This is an astonishing statement, yet it is true. My unseen presence is more real than the flesh and blood people around you. But you must see me with the eyes of your heart and communicate with me through prayer, trusting that I really do hear and care. I assure you that your prayers make a difference. 
though not always in ways you can see or in the time, frame you desire. I factor the prayers of believers into my sovereign governing of your world in ways far too complex for finite minds to grasp. Remember, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways and thoughts higher than yours. Since my methods of working in the world are often mysterious, it's important to take time to be still and know that I am God. Sit quietly in my presence, breathing in my peace, and I will give you rest. Nurture well your thankfulness, for it is the royal road to joy. In fact, no pleasure is really complete without expressing gratitude for it. It's good to thank the people through whom you receive blessings, but remember that I am God from whom all blessings flow. So praise and thank me frequently each day. This nurtures your soul and completes your joy. It also enhances your relationship with me, providing an easy way for you to draw near me. As my cherished follower, you have received the glorious gift of grace, unearned, undeserved favor. No one and no set of circumstances can strip you of this lavish gift. You belong to me forever. Nothing in all creation will be able to separate you from my love. When you awaken each morning, say, Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of this new day. As you journey through the day, be on the lookout for blessings and pleasures I scatter along your path. The great est treasure is my presence with you, for I am the indescribable gift. Instead of your shame, you shall have double honor, and instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess double. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. When you live a life fully surrendered to God, shame and confusion are really not an option. As we trust God, we will never be disgraced. So when we surrender our lives to Him, we can be rest assured that instead of shame, we will receive double honor. Isaiah 61, 7. Reflect on your life. What is that issue or circumstance that has caused you shame or confusion? Counteract it with the Word of God in Isaiah 61, 7 and receive God's double honor and joy. Trust God today and always. Cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning, for in you do I trust. Cause me to know the way in which I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. This is a wonderful prayer to God. The psalmist, David, knew he needed to be reminded of God's unfailing love each day. Only the love of God can overcome the anger, hurt, pain, envy, hatred, and despair in our world today. Every one of us needs to be reminded of God's unfailing love and kindness every day, Psalm 63, 3, and trust that His mercies are literally new each day, Lamentations 3:23. Not only is God loving, merciful, and kind, He is also our guide. Entrusting your soul in His hands and surrendering your life fully to Him is the best decision you could ever make. To live a life of purpose, we must seek God's guidance and wisdom. Look, God already knows the end from the beginning and can guide you along the best pathway of your life, so just ask Him to direct your life and be sure to obey Him. This is your reminder. You are truly loved by God. Some nations boast of their chariots and horses, but we boast in the name of the Lord our God. We can boast in the Lord our God knowing that He will never leave or forsake us. Horses and chariots, earthly security money, health, family, job, possessions, etc. will fail you, but you can put your confident trust in God. Quick reminder, God never fails. The Bible tells us the righteous are as bold as a lion, Proverbs 28, 1. 
This boldness comes from boasting in the name of the Lord. Instead of boasting or complaining about your earthly possessions, which we all do, be bold and boast about how good God is. For as the earth brings forth its bud, as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. Spring is one of my favorite seasons. I enjoy seeing how the trees that were bare and had no leaves during the winter begin to bloom and flourish in springtime. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Your praise to God has immense power and brings the manifest presence of God. It's important that we walk in righteousness and never stop praising and worshiping God. God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. He speaks a word and it is done. He speaks a word and the dead, bare things in your life begin to spring forth. Look, God is always faithful to his word. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. Selah wow. God is our refuge, and we can always find safety in Him. He covers us as we go throughout the day. He directs our path and keeps us from hurt, harm, and danger. It's so amazing that He covers us with songs of deliverance. Envision this. You're covered with songs of victory, blessings, joy, etc. Amazing. Whatever you're facing right now, know that God has already gone ahead of you and given you victory. You can begin to give Him praise right now for deliverance. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For Yah, the Lord, is my strength and song. He also has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. Like Moses knows that God is the strength you need to overcome the enemy, and God is the song of deliverance, yet victory, you need to remain on your lips. Praising God is so essential as children of God. Your family, children, community, and the world are watching how you will react to certain situations. Do you know God for yourself to boldly declare, God is my salvation, I will trust, and I won't be afraid? It's okay to feel fear, it's part of our human nature. But be like David who said, Whenever I am afraid, I will put my trust in you, Lord. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. Be rest assured when God speaks, it is done. God is too faithful to fail you. It's just not in His nature to disappoint you. The Lord has promised to be your confidence. There is nothing that the enemy, man, or that circumstance can do to cancel the word of God spoken over your life. God will also keep your feet from being caught by any trap of the enemy. God will never leave you nor forsake you. Victory is assured, so be confident in the Lord. Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous judgments. The psalmist knows to praise God multiple times a day because God's judgments are righteous. God's plans are to prosper us and not to harm us. He is all-knowing for a reason, and His commandments are not burdensome. You serve a faithful God, so praise Him constantly and consistently because He is worthy of all the praise, honor, and adoration. There is really no one like our God. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, just as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love. As a child of God, there are so many spiritual blessings available to you. All you need can be found in Jesus.
These spiritual blessings actually supersede physical blessings. I'm blown away by the fact that God already chose us even before the foundation of the world. Wow. It's reassuring to know that we are always on the heart and mind of God. God wants us to be holy and blameless, and through the blood of His Son, Jesus, we are in right standing with God. Seek to please God through your words, actions, and thoughts. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. To be meek means to be quiet, gentle, humble. Oftentimes, from a worldly perspective, people tend to view meekness as a form of weakness. God's perspective is very different from the world's perspective. God has promised that the meek will inherit the earth and have an abundance of peace. Choose the way of God and not the way of the world. The promises of God are yes and amen and always supersede anything and everything the world will ever promise. Choose the character of meekness. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, Unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. The key word here is abide. As we abide in Jesus, his will and desires become our own will and desires. Jesus is our life source, and as such we must continue to stay connected to him, our vine. Branches obtain their nourishment from the vine. We all need our nourishment from Jesus so we can bear fruit. Stop doing life on your own, but rather stay connected to Jesus, no matter the circumstance, because He gives you the victory. Reflection What or who are you connected to? We must continue to abide in God's Word in order to know His heart. As a result, we can approach God's throne of grace boldly, Hebrews 4.16 For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. The Bible tells us to let our light shine that others may see our good works and glorify our Father in heaven. Matthew 5.16 We have all sinned, fallen short of the glory of God and lived in darkness, but when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, His light overcomes the darkness. Hallelujah! Thank God for Jesus who shines His light in the darkness. Guess what? You also have dominion over darkness. As a child of light, your light overpowers every dark, evil scheme of the enemy. It's time to push back on the darkness and embrace the wonderful light of God. John 1.5 tells us the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Walk in your dominion and authority, and spread the light of Jesus Christ everywhere you are. You shall no longer be termed forsaken, nor shall your land any more be termed desolate, but you shall be called Hephzibah, and your land Beulah. For the Lord delights in you, and your land shall be married. People have called you all sorts of names that have caused you to put your head down in shame. Know that the word of God to you today is final. He has given you a new name called Hephzibah, for the Lord delights in you, and Beulah your land shall be married. Essentially, he has turned your situation around for your good. For those trusting God to change their circumstance of singleness, barrenness, stagnancy, sickness, poverty, etc. Choose to stand on this scripture and believe the word of God. Counteract the negative names with the new names God has given to you. Have faith that God can turn it all around. Trust God to surprise you. He makes my feet like the feet of deer and sets me on my high places. The feet of a deer are quite fascinating. Due to its strong structure, they are able to run, climb, chase other deers, evade danger, etc. 
The Lord is telling us that he will make our feet like that of a deer. A deer is able to climb to greater heights. As a child of God, you exceed the ordinary and go to greater heights. God has said he will place you on high places. Your current situation is only temporary. Trust and believe God's promises to you. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head, running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down on the edge of his garments. It is like the dew of Hermon, descending upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing of life forevermore. As the body of Christ, we must continue to live at peace as far as it depends on us. A house divided against itself cannot stand. Dissension and strife never results in any good outcome. As you seek unity, know that God commands a blessing, life forevermore. Choose the path of peace and unity that leads to abundant life. Live in harmony with each other. Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people. And don't think you know it all. Let's endeavor to live in harmony with one another. When there is harmony, there is peace. God even commands a blessing when there is unity. God gives more grace to the humble but opposes the proud. It's best to be humble and not bask in pride. Think about it. Your life really isn't yours. It's best to remain humble and continue to seek God's guidance on His will for your life. As believers, let it be said of us that we live in harmony and we walk in humility. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments. His descendants will be mighty on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Amen. There are wonderful blessings attached to fearing God and delighting in his commandments. These blessings go beyond you and cover your generation. Isn't this amazing? Your generation will be blessed and covered because of your obedience to God, i.g. Because of Abraham's obedience to God, as descendants of Abraham through the blood of Jesus, we have access to the blessings of God bestowed upon Abraham. Thank you, Jesus. The decisions we make today on whether to obey or disobey God have a ripple effect not only on our lives, but on our generation. May the Lord give us the grace to continue to fear Him and obey His commandments. May our generation be blessed to the fullest in Jesus' name. Amen. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? There is none like our God. People have gone to great lengths to disprove the existence of God or the fact that Jesus, God in human form, was on the earth. They have actually proven that God is so real and Jesus is the way, truth, and the life. You really don't need any research to understand that the human body is a wonder, the galaxies, planets, animals, ocean, etc. that God created are proof that He is real and there is none like Him. He is a great and mighty God. There is no God like Yahweh. Delight yourself in our glorious God. Have you commanded the morning since your days began and caused the dawn to know its place? Have you read the story of Job in the Bible? If not, I will recommend reading it. It's a profound story that shows that when your hope and trust is in God despite the circumstances you're facing, God will not abandon or put you to shame. Your testimony will always bring hope and overpower the activities of the enemy. In this verse, the Lord is asking Job some questions, but Job really cannot answer because God is the monarch of the universe. This verse shows the sovereignty of our great God. 
your present situation condition is nothing compared to the all-surpassing power of God. Each new day begins because God spoke it into existence. Remember this statement when the fills you with doubt. God is bigger. Therefore, with joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Joy is a choice. Joy doesn't excuse you from the hurt, trouble, and chaos in the world. However, we can be rest assured that Jesus has overcome the world. John 16, 33. So your trials and temptations are only temporary, because if you believe by faith, then you know that victory is assured. Water is essential in our everyday life for drinking, cooking, bathing, washing, watering plants, etc. The Bible tells us Jesus is the water of life. Revelation 22, 1-2, John 4, 14, and the river of living water, i.e. the river that never runs dry, John 7, 38-39. As a result, Jesus is essential in our everyday life. We can also choose to bask in the joy of his salvation. I don't know what you may be going through, but this scripture tells us joy is needed to draw water, i.e. living water, from the wells of salvation. How can you access this living water? All you have to do is accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. Choose joy always, for his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. God is a wonderful and merciful Father. He's slow to anger, and when he does get angry, it's only for a moment, because he abounds in so much love, Psalm 103, 8, and his favor is for a lifetime. God wants your heart and a relationship with you. Get to know his heart, and day by day you'll see and learn new facets of who he is. Your joy is already here because in the presence of God, there is always fullness of joy. Psalm 1611. Decree and declare that your joy is here, and no longer will that person or circumstance cause you to weep in Jesus' name. Amen. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. God has shielded you from every calamity that would have cut short your purpose. You are of utmost value to Him. He loves you with an everlasting love. Jeremiah 31, 3. The psalmist is aware of this and knows that heartfelt worship to God is important. The enemy is constantly plotting to prevent you from fulfilling your God-given destiny. Know that as long as God is alive, the devil is constantly a failure. God has lifted you above all your enemies. God is worthy of all the praise and adoration. Now is a good time to pause and reflect on how God has saved you from multiple hurts, harm, and dangers. He is so faithful. Wow! And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. When you love the truth, you really have nothing to hide because you know it was God who helped you to live a pure life. The Bible also tells us we will know the truth and the truth will make us free. John 8.32 To love, know the truth, we must love God and abide in His Word. We are made free when we know the truth, and this liberating truth can only be found in God's Word. We can't say that we love God and live lives filled with lies in order to feed our fear or to please people. Now is the time to reflect on your words and actions to determine if you've been living a life of lies that points others to yourself or the devil, or a life of truth that points others to God. Continue to search the scriptures for truth and receive your liberation in Jesus' name. Amen. Choose a life of truth that produces good fruit, 
and you will never have to question God's promises to you. His promises are yes and amen. Essentially, His word to you is settled. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come from you. As a result of Abraham's obedience to God, he received numerous blessings from God. God promised to make Abraham exceedingly fruitful, nations will be formed from his lineage, and kings will be among his descendants. Guess what? When you give your life to Jesus, you are also a descendant of Abraham through the blood of Jesus. We also have access to the blessings of God bestowed upon Abraham, Galatians 3, 26, 29, Galatians 4, 5, 7. Thank you, Jesus. You are not ordinary. God has declared that you are fruitful. Nations and royalties will be born from you. This then means barrenness, unfruitfulness, lack, poverty, delay, stagnation, sickness, failure, shame, etc., has no place in your destiny or lineage. Decree and declare the word of God over your life and lineage. Therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. You no longer live in bondage because Jesus Christ makes you free. Yes, I'm speaking to you. If Jesus makes you free, then you are truly free. We've been liberated from sin through the blood of Jesus, so we can serve God, Luke 1, walk in divine purpose and fulfill our God-given destiny. As such, you can't become a slave to this world. You're not a slave to sinful habits and negative vices of men. It's time to leave your slavery situation mindset behind and walk in freedom in Christ. The Lord has sent this message to every land. Tell the people of Israel, Look, your Savior is coming. See, He brings His reward with Him as He comes. They will be called the Holy People and the people redeemed by the Lord. And Jerusalem will be known as the desirable place and the city no longer forsaken. Jesus is coming to change your circumstance. He doesn't come empty-handed. He brings his reward. People have called you all sorts of names that have caused you to put your head down in shame. Know that the word of God to you today is final. He has given you a new name holy, redeemed, desirable, no longer forsaken. Essentially, he has turned your situation around for your good. For those trusting God to change their circumstance of singleness, barrenness, stagnancy, sickness, poverty, hurt, depression, etc. Choose to stand on this scripture and believe the word of God. Counteract the negative names with the new names God has given to you. Holy, redeemed, desirable, no longer forsaken. Have faith that God can turn it all around. But I will heal this city and its people and restore them to health. I will show them abundant peace and security. This verse talks about God restoring Jerusalem and its inhabitants. Jerusalem is also known as the city of God, Psalm 48. As believers in Jesus, we are called the temple of God. 1 Corinthians 3.16, i.e. where God dwells. God's word is final, and he has promised to bring you health, healing, abundance of peace and security. If God has promised healing in his word, believe that these promises apply to you as well. Your role is to know and believe his word and enforce your miracles in Jesus' name. Amen. According to the word of God, by the stripes of Jesus, you were already healed. God's word is alive and full of so much power. Believe by faith and trust Jesus to bring your healing speedily and give him no rest till he establishes and till he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The Bible tells us to keep asking, seeking, knocking. When we keep asking, we will receive. 
When we keep seeking, we will find. When we keep knocking, the door will be opened. Today's scripture speaks about persistence. Keep going to God with your circumstances. He is a faithful God and cannot deny himself. In some cases, we may need revelation on how to attain our blessings. The promises of God in Christ Jesus are already yes and amen. God's promises have already been granted, so we need to constantly seek God to help us resolve the knowledge gap we have. Seek God continuously for wisdom and knowledge. Ask me and I will tell you remarkable secrets you do not know about things to come. The first step to intimacy with God is to draw near to Him, James 4, 8. He won't force you to choose Him. He wants you to have the desire to be near Him. God wants to tell you and show you remarkable things. We draw near to God by learning more about Him through studying the Bible, praise and worship, listening to sermons, obeying His commandments amongst others. Why don't you take the first step and draw near to Him? It's so worth it. Just as the body is dead without breath, so also faith is dead without good works. Faith and work go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. As believers, without faith, it is impossible to please God, and we must know who God is, and He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Hebrews 11.6 When we have faith, we can conduct transactions in the realm of the Spirit. Faith brings the invisible to reality. Hebrews 11.3 Is your faith in the Word of God, or in the schemes of the devil, or in the negative outcomes of this world? If your faith isn't in God, then your faith is in something or someone else. When we have faith in God, we have to show it by our good works. Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. Romans 4.3 In Hebrews 11, we read about our fathers and mothers of faith, and a common theme is that they believed God, and their faith was accompanied by actions. What are you believing in God for? Now is the time to back up your faith with some actions at work. Your words were found, and I ate them. And your word was to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord God of hosts. Like Jeremiah, we need to feast on the word of God. Jesus said, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew 4.4 4. When you find God's word, feast on them by memorizing, meditating, declaring, and believing in His word. These words are spirit and life, John 6.63, and will bring joy to your heart. You are called by God's name. You are His. You are not just ordinary. Your life is a wonder. The Lord of hosts, Jehovah Sabaoth, is with you. Keep feasting on the word of God and watch your life flourish in Jesus' name. Amen. True humility and fear of the Lord lead to riches, honor, and long life. Your pride can't compete with God because God resists the proud but gives more grace to the humble, James 4.6. It is best to be humble under the mighty arm of God, and in due time He will lift you up. 1 Peter 5, 6 It's not fun when God humbles you Himself. The fear of God is key. The Bible tells us that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs 9, 10 To fear God is to know wisdom. The fear of God means reverence for God. You can have a great relationship with God, and still revere Him. I like math, so I have to express this as a formula LOL. God has given us the formula, and we really don't have any excuse. Ask God to help you live in humility and reverence for Him. 
All you could ever need is here at the feet of Jesus. A good name is to be chosen, rather than great riches, loving favor, rather than silver and gold. It's incredible how the Bible is always timely. In our world today, it's easy to pursue after riches at the expense of a good name, i.e. a good reputation. The news is filled with corrupt leaders. There are all these get-rich-quick schemes, money laundering, all forms of deceptions in order to amass wealth. The love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, 1 Timothy 6.10. Money and material wealth by itself is not evil, but when you love it, that's when greed, evil, confusion, etc. sets in. If you're constantly chasing after money, riches, material things, etc., then you've placed your hope in the things of the world. Guess what? You will never be satisfied because worldly things cannot replace God's place in your heart. God loves you with an everlasting love, Jeremiah 31, 3. God calls you by your name because you are His, Isaiah 43, 1. So choose the path of righteousness and favor rather than gold and silver. The wealth will come eventually because God is a loving Father who promises to supply all our needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19 God will give you the wisdom on how to manage, grow, sustain, give, and multiply the wealth He has entrusted in your hands. God is reminding us to abide in Him and be content with what we have. Seek God first, and everything else will be added. Matthew 6.33 And rest in His peace and contentment. Please subscribe our YouTube channel to reach 60,000 divine subscribers very soon. Please share this video and share super thanks. Type amen to affirm. Thanks for watching.